Hello, Istanbul. We are here. After so much pain and sleep in the bus, in so many buses, we are here. Hey. Hey. So we are at, uh, uh, turned out there are three different bus stations, which are very far from the center. And of course, when we'll be going back to Tbilisi, ours will be the most further one. Amazing, right? <laughs> we are lucky. <laughs> uh, so now we are trying to find a way to get out of here and move back to the center. So we find it right inside. You can buy a Stanbul card from this menu. So you can, you need to have a separate card for Istanbul, a separate card for uh, Antalya. So don't top up too much money in Antalya if you decide to come here. <laughs> Once again, English. Please select your payment method. And try there. Yeah, there you go. Your payment has been successfully received. Yeah, there you go. Please so. take your card from return tray below. Yeah. There you go. So, you want to add more money? Look no. at this. No? We have 50 Enough? Days. Okay, great. Again, it was super hard to find uh, where to, to buy the card, where to top up the money. They just put one terminal on the, like, in the whole bus terminal, probably. <laughs> they could put more, so it's easier to find. You will need to, like, find this place. And right inside, you will find where to buy the cart. So we are trying to find, we need bus or metro. Where are we? Otogar. Red. And we need Yenikapi Ista. Yenikapi. Uh huh. Yeah. The metro costs 7.67 lira per person. I think that is a more convenient way to travel to the center, especially in this hot weather. But. The sky looks so black, we are scared it's gonna rain. But let's hope it won't. This side? Uh -huh. You know, like, you are looking at this uh, beautiful flowers, but you have no idea right now how smelly it is. <laughs> it smells horrible. <laughs> like, uh, like something. <laughs> so we found some Uzbek cafe. And we already have uh, had Uzbek food in Tbilisi. And um, there's a very tasty food that's called samsa. So basically it's like a little uh, bread and there is a meat inside. We decided to try it here, whether it's better or not than in Tbilisi. Something like this. It's not exactly the same type of uh, pastry. But there is a lot of meat, so it was a good decision, I think. Here we are. Oh, smells so tasty and fresh. Finally, a normal hotel after so many different ones. <laughs> I think so far this is one of the best. TV, TV. Well, 
Not the view on the sea, but it's still good. It's super comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. We have even TV, oh my god. <laughs> and kettle, and fridge. Yeah. And uh, yeah, fridge and everything. And look at this. And two bottles of water. Oh. <laughs> Yay, finally. Yeah, this looks nice. Yeah, and smells very nicely as well. Finally, after amazing shower and finally amazing hotel, uh, we went out and going to start exploring Istanbul. Some construction or reconstruction. Yeah, you may not always get lucky because we also went uh, past one of the mosques and it was under the construction. I see a lot of people, <laughs> like really a lot of people. I hope we will manage to take some nice pictures. The very first place we visited was Sultan Ahmed Square, where the top attraction is the obelisk of Theodosius, which is an ancient Egyptian obelisk of Pharaoh Thutmose, third erected in the 4th century AD. The square itself was a circus that was the sporting and social center of Constantinople. Currently, it's a big open area, which is away in the direction of Hagia Sophia. Another interesting place in the square is German Fountain, which is a gazebo-style fountain that was constructed to honor the second anniversary of German Emperor Wilhelm II's visit. So here we are at the Blue Mosque. So I got my red scarf and the dress. I don't like using someone else's, so if you are the same, it's better that you take yours. And these are the instructions that you need to follow. They told me that this one is not long enough, so it has to be like, like this. Like everything has to be covered. So I got the one anyway. But on the head, they said it's fine. So it's okay. As I know, they clean it all the time. So it looks pretty clean and fresh. So that's fine. Yeah, something like this. <laughs> So we thought that uh, it's not allowed with shorts, uh, but that said that it's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you also need to take off your shoes as well. So you can leave your shoes here if you want, uh, or you can just take with you. So we decided to take with us, so it's not lost. So it seems like we are unlucky uh, because there is a reconstruction going on, so we cannot see much. And also there are a lot of people here. I know there is usually a lot of people, uh, but it's more than I expected. Visitors behind this line. So you're not allowed to go there. The Blue Mosque is a historical imperial mosque that is considered to be the classical period's last great mosque and represents a mixture of Byzantine Christian and traditional Islamic architectural elements. We read and heard a lot about this place, however, we were not lucky this time as the interior and the exterior of the building were under the construction, so we saw almost nothing interesting. From the checklist, this place is gone. 
Uh, of course, we were unfortunate because of the reconstruction, but in any case, I wouldn't say that it was something well for me. For someone it is, for someone it's not, for me it's not. However, from the inside, yeah, it does have its some beautiful perks, but I'm sure that the purpose of the mosque uh, is not the beauty, right? Uh, it's absolutely different purpose. And we are done for today. Our next destination will be Hagia Sophia, so make sure to subscribe, like and comment, and keep updated with our next video about Hagia Sophia.